on the previous episode. Second and two after I think a decent rush by Marshawn Lynch. We're again just we get both both the outside streaks were wide open. We're gonna choose Randy Moss, get involved. He did not have a catch this game. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Episode 83 of the No Money Spent. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode just because Mondays, man, there's not much really going on. It's just sell offs. Hopefully, your Halloween was good. Your NFL team won. Chiefs, my Chiefs play in a couple of hours. That's why I'm putting this video out a little bit early. Market Monday will be out about an hour or two after the team of the week reveals. A lot more market stuff in precise details will be in that video. But this is just going to be the kind of a binder, wrap up a market update, training, all of that. But in terms of the binder, there's not much going on. We've had, man, we've had nonstop action the past basically three weeks. We've always basically been. There's always been something to invest in. In core leads, like for Mostert Part 1, we were investing in Mostert Part 2, and so on. Now, it's slowed down, and all I really have is TYs and JC Horns. And for me personally, since I don't have that many coins invested in other assets, I'm being really patient with TY Hilton and JC Horn because I'm not rushed to basically... I don't need any other coins except to invest maybe in Team of the Weeks and Limited. So I'm not pressed to sell off my TYs, my JC Horns, and stuff like that. In terms of the core leagues, what I still have left, it's really just the last of Aaron Donald's. I still have some Tyree Kill, Cleo Max, and DK Metcalfs. Aaron Donald has settled. He's about that 95. I try to get 100 for him. Cleo Mack, I've been able to sell back for 40k, which basically means... I haven't lost anything on him. And DK Metcalf, I've been trying to get 23K. He's been more successful in terms of selling off at that 23, 24K mark than Aaron Dongs. Aaron Donald, so for some reason, every day, it seems like one person just lists like 20 at 90,000 coins. And it just elim eliminates basically me able to sell him that day. But in terms of my auctions, I actually was able to sell a T.Y. Hilton late, late, late last night. I was making thumbnails, brainstorming for YouTube, and really T.Y. Hilton spiked up in rice pretty much and i was able to sell for 429 hopping in now to the market now i did not invest in marshawn lynch or marcus mariota probably should have i did buy one marshawn lynch but sundays were basically a much or much busier day i'm watching football doing other stuff so i wasn't really in tune locked in kind of monitoring the marshawn lynch and marcus mariota price but if you pick some up for 115 that's what i basically said a good good price for you can't really go wrong 115 Man, you're making a good 40k, 40-45k per car, which is really, really solid and wasn't that expensive on an investment. I don't know how long you guys want to hold on to those if you have them, but I mean, 45k on a 115k investment, that's great. Hopping into the trading market, trading has been down. It went to about, I think, 15 or 16. It's right at that 17, 17 and a half mark right now. And a lot of people in the Discord, I'm seeing like, invest in trading, invest in trading. The problem I have with that what is going to make training go up in the next two weeks because we really don't have anything we don't have re-rolls all we have is kind of the wild card wednesdays so i don't really love investing in training yes training will go up when thanksgiving content comes out we'll have re-rolls for that but that's in two weeks just at the mutt cycle progressively training is just going to drop week to week like just progressively as the mutt cycle moves on so i don't know if i necessarily love investing in training the next training investment might be when like series two drops and stuff like that but i'll get into that in market monday hopping into like the objectives and a little fyi this most feared objective list does expire this friday i'm probably only getting it the 13 out of 20 to get that one sellable most feared player but man if you're no money spent you're struggling on coins grind out these most feared objectives the yard sets the solo. i don't think the solos expire but the objective list maybe house rules i don't know if it's still out because i haven't paid much attention to house rules but all it seems like most of the most feared stuff except for the the sets and the solos are going to be expiring on friday so we might actually get something because usually when an objective list expires on friday there has to be a new objective list to kind of take its place so but there's really we don't know exactly i mean there could be team standouts series two but i'm gonna that's basically for the market monday i didn't really want to talk about the market this much in this video but in terms of weekend league went six and one or seven and one i believe we did get veteran i believe for also the monthly rewards 29 i think it went 29 and 9 was my record i'm gonna be trying to go for top 100 this weekend i have definitely a lot more time if we don't have many much content this weekend but to wrap up this video, I'm going to plug the Discord again. If you're ever wondering on coin making methods, basically, not investing, but just coin methods, because I don't like putting the same coin. I don't want to just, it sounds like a broken record, but Gap Pack, Team Builders, 8586 Exchange. I don't want to have every video like, oh, you know, new coin making method. It's team. It, it's always going to be Team Builders, 8586 Exchange in the Gap Pack. It just, the prices change, like. For team builders, for example, and by the way, you can always go into the coin method part channel, check the pin in the top right, and I update this usually once or twice 
a week updated last night out of the gap pack method you have basically everything to know where to put every single type of card you can pull in that method but in terms of i don't like putting out videos like team builders when team builders are always going to work the prices just change like last week team builders were selling for 26 but core elites were going for 5k now team builders are selling for like 20,000, but core elites going for 3.5 so just the prices change but the profit is pretty much the same week to week and i don't really want to be like a basically just regurgitating methods oh it's my alarm sorry my alarm went off i need to finish this video by three o'clock but that's going to be all for this episode 83 of the no money spent market monday is going to be out in a couple hours time hopefully we get some dope team of the week cards and maybe an aj brow titan steam team getting a little better but if you enjoyed this video like it subscribe if you're new comment if you have any questions join the discord if you want to get a little more in depth into the market it's free to join welcome to join and until tomorrow or a couple hours, peace.